Hey guys, it's me Taps. Wait, something is missing. There you go. <laughs> but I still don't feel festive enough. Wait a moment. That's better. So yesterday I noticed that my brother, my dear old brother, is probably the biggest Grinch in history because he literally ran around the house going like, oh I hate Christmas, Christmas sucks, why do everyone has to celebrate it? And oh my god, all my girlfriend wants to do is go Christmas shopping all the time and I hate it, oh my god, and blah 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 blah. And I thought, all you Grinches out there, because I know you are there, this is a very seasonally appropriate channel and I am very excited for Christmas so you are gonna get Christmas up. Let's get started. Step number one. Grab a hot drink. And I don't want to hear any excuses you're watching a video on my channel and it's a tradition on my channel to grab a hot drink when filming videos so you are gonna grab a hot drink whether it's hot chocolate or coffee or tea or I don't care just grab a hot drink and make yourself comfortable. I will wait here pulling this face. Did you get your hot drink and are you comfortable? Very good. Then let's go on with step number two. So step number two is the dressing. And you don't have to go full on board with a festive Christmas sweater that has glowing lights on it or stuff like that. You can simply, simply start with a festive pyjama. So I am currently wearing this, wait, oh, stand up, this red and white checked one and it's amazing and I'm feeling very, very festive in it, although it doesn't scream Christmas. So if you're not that excited for Christmas, you can start with this, but I'm promising you promising you it will make you feel very fuzzy and very comfortable. Step number three is the decorations and I know decorations can be quite expensive but you can always hang up some Christmas lights you can get them in Primark for like three bucks or something and they make you feel so Christmassy and also if you have got a mother as mine you will find loads of Christmas crap in your basement. Just ask your mum, she will most likely have something that you can use for your room and for decorating your room a little bit festive. And to get some inspiration, this is how my room looks at the moment. Step number four are Christmas themed movies and books. Now in winter I spend even more time in, I, in my bed than I do in summer. So I have gone over to watching a bunch of movies and reading a bunch of holiday themed books because it just makes me feel very, very cozy and very happy to be at home when the weather outside is just stormy and snowy and cold and you don't want to move a bit out of your bed. So here are some of my personal recommendations. For books, what is always good is rereading a series like Harry Potter. Um, Harry Potter is just the best to read in autumn and winter because how JK Rowling describes winter in Harry Potter is the best and it makes you feel very very warm and very very good. So I love reading Harry Potter in autumn and winter. So what is also a great book to read in winter is The Wizard of Oz by Frank L. Baum. Baum? I will pronounce him like that. Um, it's not specifically a Christmassy book but it's just very very sweet and well written and it is very very imaginative and it takes you to a very awesome place called Oz or you probably all know The Wizard of Oz but it's a great book to read during the holidays definitely recommend that 
And also, I found this in our basement the other day, and it's The Best Christmas Stories by Hans Christian Andersen, who also is very well known for writing The Little Mermaid. And I found this in our basement, and it has like five stories, I guess? And I want to read them in the... because it's a really small book. I want to read it in the upcoming time until Christmas to feel a little bit more Christmassy. If you're not that much of a reader, you can always read this because it's very small and every story has like 10 or 12 pages or something like that. So this is really good to get a little bit festive. And if you don't enjoy reading at all, you can always watch a movie. And my biggest recommendation for Christmas movies is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I think I have talked about this movie so much on this channel, but it is still good and it has Johnny Depp in it and it's a Tim Burton movie, so can't, can't really go wrong with that, can you? So this is definitely a recommendation and it's themed around Christmas, so it's definitely a Christmas movie. And the last and most crucial step to being excited for Christmas, but also probably the hardest one, is festive cheer. Now, I know I'm currently in an exam phase, and in the next week I have to write my biology exam and my geography exam and then the week after my German exam, and it can be quite stressful, I know that, and I know that a lot of you are probably going through the same, and also if you're working there's always a lot of stuff coming up before Christmas, so it can be very very stressful, but remember that. The world could use a little bit more festive cheer. I know it's really hard sometimes to get into festive cheer when you hear about the bad stuff that is happening all over the world at the moment, but you can make a difference. If you choose to be festive and happy and spread a little bit of kindness and festive cheer to others, you can make a difference. Although it will probably not change the world, but it will probably make one person laugh or make one person smile and that is great. The world could use a little bit more festive cheer all around the year, not just specifically before Christmas, but especially when people are stressed out about Christmas shopping and stuff that is coming up before Christmas, you can make a difference and I think that is pretty amazing to spread happiness and festive cheer. So yeah, this was my little video for all of you Grinches out there and I hope you have taken away a little bit of Christmas spirit from me. Um, and I hope you have a very, very good Christmassy day. I hope you get festive and I will see you next week. Bye!